Welcome to Northern Colorado Daily Homes, and today we are covering properties that are on, on uh, this was yesterday, two acres or more. We are co covering properties that are foreclosed or bank owned, and there's 16 properties, and you can see there's quite a range of Wellington down to Fort Collins and down to Loveland, and that's kind of where we have our viewing places today. Now let me go over here to the actual listings and we'll get started. The least expensive one is on East 2nd at $50,000, and it has a garage, and you can purchase it for as low as 3% down. This is one that could use some work. It's a cute little property or has potential. It is on East 2nd at 1206, and so keep it in mind as a project house. 804 North Garfield is bank owned. It's three bedroom, one bath. It's always interesting to see what we have for pictures because bank owned ones can be so different. Uh, it's got a new furnace and hot water heater. A two-year home warranty program is available with restrictions. So I'm not quite sure what the restrictions are. We'll just have to wait and see. Three bedrooms, one bath, one story. This one is listed at 125. The house was built 1957. It has a two-car detached garage. That's pretty nice. And only four photos to look at. So we don't want to stay too long. This one on Susan at 280. 2708 Susan at 132.9. And I think with uh, just two pictures here, that's an interesting little area. And I think at 132.9, that's a great price. It's a three bedroom, 1472 square feet, but it needs work. All of these will need work. This one on Wintergreen has new carpet and paint throughout, mature landscaping. It's got a nice front deck. It shows clean. Look, there's even an oven and a refrigerator there. Oh my goodness, that's pretty amazing. It's 914 square feet, larger than my first house, but what a great place to get started on. This could be one that needs less work. This one in Fort Collins is on Brittany. It's located in southwest Fort Collins. It's a master bedroom with a full closet. It looks like that car carpet's been taken out maybe, and there's paint or who knows what the heck that is on the floor. That's kind of strange, but that can be taken care of. Um, looks like it must have been pretty dirty at one time. Looks like it still may be a little dirty, but it has potential. And this one kind of surprises me because I thought it was going to be larger than that from where it was on the map. So maybe it's not mapped correctly. Not sure. East 16th and Loveland at 148 to 29. It's in the Allendale subdivision. It is Fannie Mae owned. Uh, there's instructions, of course, how to apply for it. Uh, to write an offer on it. That one does have an oven and a dishwasher. No refrigerator, but the fact that it has an oven is pretty amazing. For 148 229 not a bad house. It is a front, uh, tri-level front to back, so you walk in, you have your living area on the main floor, and then you go to the back to go up and down. This one on Uray in Wellington's 152. It also has a dishwasher and oven. And it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Three-car garage for 152000 That's pretty amazing. And I want to make sure that we get everything looked at that we can today. This is sold as is, needs updating. Um, this one was in Chama. It was built in 1964, so it has that older feeling to it. And there's the blue tub and toilet. Interesting always to see those things. Uh, looks like there's some nice wood floors, some rooms are nicely painted, as long as you like colors. Dorset Co Court in Fort Collins at 162. It's 1,122 square feet, built in 1973. But it is just a two-bedroom, two-bath home. That picture's a little dark. That's a little better uh, in seeing what's going on. Looks like there's a lot of good wood floors. My general idea... I, inclination on this one is the conditions a little bit better looks like a nice yard and um, yeah looks like a really nice yard actually Elm Avenue and Fort Estes Park um, raised ranch in great condition and this one looks like it is in the right place on the map off to the right uh, it's got 1462 square feet built in 1976 raised ranch two bedrooms up family room and kitchen Master bedroom, balcony. Um, let's see here. And beautiful location to look at some of the things in Estes Park. Ravenwood. 
Raven View Road in Fort Collins. It's 168. It's bank owned townhome. No pictures yet. And it's only been on the market four days. Foxglove Court in Fort Collins at 175. And we're looking at 13 of 16 pictures. So isn't that amazing how uh, today our price levels are really much lower. And sometimes they're much higher. It's kind of interesting just to see what we have. This one was built in 1995, and there's really not too much to say about it. Southwest 10th and Loveland, this is the one that's mapped wrong, so do not pay attention to this map. Yeah, it's uh, Southwest 10th for 172, 179, just 180. Um, it looks like it's actually a pretty nice house. Looks like they might have taken out a fireplace. Um, needs some work, as you can kind of tell. And as these all do, so but put in your 179 for 1,900 square feet, that's a good deal. This one on Rock Ridge Grain is laying is five acres. Uh, step back in time, there's no well, but one is being drilled and installed. This one actually had issues with water, access to water. And so it looks like the bank is taking care of it so that you can have water to this house. It's very important to know if you have access to water or not because you don't want to have an issue where you don't have water. And our last one of the day is on Kinsley at 3501. For 334.9, it's a large five bedroom, four bath, two story with wood floors on the main floor. Um, and that's why we probably see the huge jump up in price. This will be the pick of the day. Actually, there's a lot of great picks of the day, but I wanted you to be able to see all the photos. So. Have a great day. We will talk on Monday when we cover the new listings in Loveland. And thank you so much for visiting.